two days she take them off not even sometimes the next day to be honest with you i'm driving there now i'm kind of just gonna show you guys the place um i'm kind of getting like full vibes i'm gonna be getting like fall color you know i'm debating specifically what color i want at the moment but oh uh, yeah so there's that i do have my seatbelt got my seatbelt on yeah, I'm going to go get my nails done, get my feet done, and then the upcoming clips. Um, I currently have my eyebrows and my lashes are done, but these lashes are the ones that I put on the strips. I'm going to take these off and get the individual ones done because I haven't had those in a long time. And it gives a little bit more definition, so that's the vibes for today. So I'll take y'all along with me. Knocked it off the table while talking on speaker on accident. 
dropped my phone on the face of it. So I was like, all right, whatever. I picked it up. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. So, you know, I got on here. I talked when inside the nail shop. And on my way out, I was putting in my purse after paying back in my uh, bag. And I was like, why does it look like my phone's broke? Oh my goodness. Back of my phone is shattered into pieces. Because this is a glass phone. I just got this phone a couple months ago. To be exact, I got this phone when the year started. So like January, February. So a couple months ago. I am so freaking pissed. I'm so pissed. And I got the gold. So therefore, it's hard to get a hold of the gold too. It was so hard. I had to wait a month. I was gonna get this phone. I was gonna get this phone in December. And um, I was checking from November for December. They didn't have it in November. They didn't have it in December. They didn't even have it in January. I got this phone February or March. Yeah, like right before my birthday, I think is when I got this phone. So like the end of February, starting of March. That's why I say it's been only a few months since I've had this phone. And I have to keep calling around everywhere to get a hold of this phone. I'm paying for insurance on my phone because I feel like it was a waste of money. Because when I did need stuff done on my phone, they still would cost me a whole bunch out of pocket. Even though I was paying monthly, which is dumb with Apple. I hate that. So, let me see what time it is. That stressed me out like real, real, real bad. So, now I'm sitting here like, man, I've had so many phones with Apple with no problem. And the one phone that I really like, that is that I need now, not only for vlogging, but for personal use, is now shattered to pieces. Hurt is not even the word. Hurt is not, distraught. <laughs> Find another book, distraught. Upset. If whooping was a person, I need it. <laughs> Yo, this is big tripping. So now I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to, ugh. I'm probably gonna have to fix this phone and I'm gonna see if um, I'm gonna fix it and see how it is because I'm like the last time I had to fix the phone I had to send away for over a week I can't do it on my phone for over a week so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but I mean be without a phone get a new phone I'm like I'm gonna call Apple first of all no never mind Apple's gonna call charge me an arm and like five legs so we're not even gonna do that I'm going to be smart about it and see if I can call like a you fix it place and see if they'll just like this, this and that to run me a new phone kind of anyway. So I don't know, but we'll figure that out. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll keep y'all posted on that though, for real. I'm like, this is not the day nor the time for this to be happening. But every time you don't want something to happen is when it happens usually. So that's my fault though. I done dropped this phone so many times. It's it is what it is though. You live and you learn. This is why I need to find like a lash tick because I really like the big voluptuous eyelash nail places or places that are like a spa and that does it. They don't, they kind of just do it how they do it. And you don't really have a preference to say, I like it like this, I like it like that. Now this is like clusters and this is dramatic. Like you were saying, if I did natural, they probably would have curved a little bit more if I did like the natural look. But I'm like, I kind of want my eyelashes full. So I just went with that. get into this facial right now I'm getting prepped I've already washed my face with just water and make sure my skin's clear so right now this is my girl Mo she's done my facial this is my third one she's currently using an oil based cleanser for my face and then she's applying additional products to make sure she scrubs well to get any grease or anything that may still be present on my face
Now she's going in and making sure that my skin once again is clean. So she's doing a deep cleansing on my face. Currently, she put a little steam on my face. It's literally my favorite thing to do when she's steamy. I just feel like my pores are just, you know, getting cleaned out, detox, and so forth. But due to me getting my eyelashes recently done, really the day before, she did not advise for me to get steam because it could melt my, you know, glue and lashes and all. But I did opt for it. Right now, she is giving me a hot towel prep of course she's just finished cleaning my face so you know she has to kind of open and or close my pores she's the esthetician not me so i'm <laughs> going along with y'all so she's making sure my face is clean so my pores are nice and clean and my face is getting prepped for the next step Next, she's getting ready to apply the rose water toner to my face, which tones my face and kind of evens out my skin tone. As you can see, I do have some darkening areas, so therefore, we're trying to correct those. And I love the smell of this rose water. Now, after completing my rose water, this is also getting me prepped for the dermaplaning so now she's currently going in and dermaplaning the darker areas on my face to even out my skin tone because I do have two-tone skin I've always had that my whole life and now she's kind of going in and just cleaning that up for me As you can see, she's very, 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 very good at her job. And like I stated before, this is her third time doing my facial for me. And right about now, y'all could definitely see the difference on my face. Of course, my skin is already cleared, but the point is to even out my tone. So you can already see a huge difference once she removes right there. I zoomed in a bit for you guys so you're able to see a lot clearer. Now my skin's looking way better than before. Of course, I love the fact that she's super detailed with my face and she's super gentle with my face. And also these products are very gentle on my face. My skin is really sensitive, so therefore the brand we decided to go with from we started is an organic brand, really plant-based, so none of the products in there are harmful as other products. Something I really love about these when I leave my face is like smooth, like butter smooth.
one thing about it when you're with your esthetician and you really trust them you can relax just like me okay <laughs> she got a whole knife to my face and i'm calm and relaxed as i should be So because it is fall, of course, we decided to do a pumpkin peel. It gets intense because it is a peel, but it is an organic peel. Of course, I didn't mind. This is her applying it to my face to make sure it's even. And with this brand, it's not a typical chemical peel where you're expecting the top layer of skin or the few layers to completely peel. So I am getting my layers peeled, but in a more subtle, safer way than my actual skin peeling off my face. Here she's applying a hot towel. Of course, you know, my pores are just open and you know, she's going through making sure everything's how it should be. Literally one of my favorite parts, the hot towel hits every time, okay? Y'all definitely can see the transformation from when I came in to now. Here she's going in and applying a green mask on my face. And I think this is to revitalize my skin to kind of make sure my skin is how it should be. Very calming and relaxing mask. After going through a chemical peel, this kind of soothes the skin. And once again, for the folks in the back, I have super sensitive skin. Anything and everything break me out. And so far, since I've been using this line, I haven't had any breakouts. And my skin's just been doing really well with this product. Now she's going in with the vitamin C oil. Again, these are all the same products from the organic line Green Envy. So she's going in, making sure it hits every part of me. And I cannot wait for you guys to see the final results. Okay, results is resulting. Now here she's getting ready to apply sunscreen to me. I did tell her I'm gonna be out, um, you know, in the sun or just out and about. And of course, after getting a facial, a chemical peel, a dermaplane, your skin is kind of bare and open. So she went ahead and applied sunscreen to kind of protect me from the sun. I'm gonna stay out of the sunlight as much as possible when you just recently got a facial. It can very much revert back to its original state if you're not patient with your face and the results. And baby, one thing about it, she's not gonna play when it comes to me, okay? She definitely gave me a face massage, as you should. My face just went through a little procedure, all natural, of course. But here she is relaxing my muscles even more. And baby, did I feel good after that. A whole new woman, okay?
and the products used i did a little insert it was down in the description box none of this is sponsored at all this is all products that i use on my face currently hey y'all so welcome back i am back actually i was getting my facial done i need for the sun to come out so it could just heat me right so i could show y'all she did such an amazing job as always i love to go to her she's like my <laughs> personal esthetician but she does such an amazing job as you guys can see in the previous clip just wait for the sun to hit me y'all wait for the sun to hit me wait for it y'all we see the vibes see the vibes i just need for the sun to hit right okay here go the sun y'all okay look at my face glowing don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it no stay with it no stay with it no stay with it <laughs> but no um on the real though this is my face right now. I'll pull over and cut the window down because if I'm driving, the wind sound is going to mess with the volume on here. So I'm going to stop at this stop sign and I'm going to cut the window down and I'm going to show y'all with the little sun how much I'm glowing in the sun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's no filter. There's nothing on here. There we go. Glowing, 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 glowing. Y'all see that? Oh, okay. Because whose face is that? Mine? Oh, okay. Y'all see that? She uh, used the brightness serum on my face. She also did a organic chemical peel, which I got last time, but this time we did that with no plate on my face. So you guys would have seen the whole process to that, but yes, it's hitting for whatever it's hitting on. It's hitting for whatever it's hitting on. Uh -huh. Take care of your skin, ladies. Do this for you. So yeah, my lashes are down, my brows are done. So now, I was gonna put on a little makeup since I'm gonna be out and about today, but she was like, no, since I did the dermal plane, let your face go ahead and let your face, the sun coming out, so y'all gonna see that glow again. I promise y'all, this is just the sun. There's no edit, there's no nothing. Y'all see that? Y'all see that glow? Y'all see that glow? Oh, okay, that's the vitamin E and the vitamin D, period. Anyways, it's these cars driving by. Hello. <laughs> driving by for me while I'm trying to record my video because I stopped at the stop sign. But I am now heading back to the house and then to my mom's house to go pick up my daughter. And we're going to get the day started from there. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. Hey y'all, hey, so in the last clip, I definitely did not remember to do an outro, so I'm doing that now. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Also turn your post notification on so you'll be notified every time that I post. And hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and that's it for now. See you guys next time.